Alpine and subalpine landscapes are both found on Adirondack High Peaks. 20 mountains, including those you see here, have approximately 83 acres of alpine tundra plant communities, normally found hundreds of miles north in Labrador and Quebec. Below this fragile alpine tundra is found a narrow but often dense band of subalpine krumholz, a German word meaning twisted wood. Below the krumholz we find the tree line of montane conifers. The alpine and subalpine zones can be very harsh, with steep slopes, periods of drought, freezing temperatures, ice and snow, frozen soils, high winds, and extremes of soil moisture. Soils on steep slopes are typically thin as any accumulation is washed away. Thin soil, bare rock, and extremes of temperature and moisture make the alpine environment unsuitable for trees. The alpine zone is particularly sensitive to human impact, where hikers can destroy fragile tundra plant communities quickly by walking on them a few times. Recovery of tundra can take decades, as soils are very thin, easily washed away when disturbed, and tundra plants grow slowly, some growing at a fraction of a millimeter per year, and severe conditions limit seed production. Several alpine plant species are extremely rare, with only a few examples remaining on the high peaks or in New York State. A Summit Steward program founded in 1989 by Dr. Ed Ketchledge, affectionately known as Ketch, started a program to rehabilitate the alpine zone on several Adirondack mountains and to place stewards on a few summits to educate hikers about the fragile tundra plant community in order to reduce damage to the rare species found there. Those summits with stewards have shown some recovery of habitat in monitored areas. Many hikers now volunteer to carry rocks up to the summit stewards to help stabilize very thin soils and to help educate other hikers. Here you can see that hikers have damaged a significant amount of tundra on the summit of Algonquin. Rather than stay on a defined trail or on bare rock, Hikers trampled a large area of the tundra plant community here and on other Adirondack peaks before the Summit Steward program began. Those peaks without Summit Stewards continue to lose habitat. The tundra plants you are seeing in this clip were photographed on Mount Algonquin by former summit steward Brendan Wiltsey, now a professional photographer and limnologist and expert on alpine rare plants. The summit steward's efforts to educate hikers has reduced damage on high peak summits and improved habitat on several, but a recent surge in trail usage has everyone concerned that the future may require more stewards on more summits to protect this fragile alpine landscape. Plant species seen here are representative of tundra plant communities in the boreal landscapes of Labrador and Quebec and are at the southern limit of their range. Krumholtz seen here grows near the summit of Whiteface Mountain. 
These two to six foot tall balsam firs can be a hundred years old and sometimes up to 350 years, with their age largely determined by the last severe fire. From a distance, Krumholtz looks short and navigable, but it is very difficult to push through these strong trees as their limbs do not bend like larger ones. Because thin soils do not hold nutrients and moisture well, subalpine Krumholtz and montane conifers below are exposed to drought and fire. The Krumholtz zone can be as broad as 100 to 500 feet vertically, depending on slopes, soils, and exposure, growing between alpine tundra above and tree line of montane conifers below. Nearby to our featured high peak in this video, Mount Algonquin, we have Mount Colden with its signature slides, and to the east, Skylight and Mount Marcy, the highest point in New York State at 5,344 feet. Mount Marcy has a large area of tundra and subalpine Krumholtz on its summit, similar to Algonquin, and receives a very high number of hikers given its prominence. A summit steward is on top of Mount Marcy most days during the summer months. East of Mount Marcy, we have Mounts Haystack, Basin, Saddleback, and the Gothics. All are Adirondack High Peaks with areas of alpine tundra and subalpine Krumholtz. All receive a high volume of hikers in summer, when tundra is most vulnerable, and all have suffered some damage to their fragile tundra plant communities. The 20 or so very rare plants within the fragile Adirondack alpine tundra community are wonderfully attractive and make visiting a high peak even more rewarding. Staying on trails and packing a few rocks up to the summit stewards will add to your high peak experience and help preserve this rare community.